Glory, glory, glory to the Lamb. Glory, 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 glory to the Lamb. For God is glorious and worthy to be praised. He's the Lamb, the Lamb upon upon the throne and he will reign in righteousness forever he is the lamb upon the throne come and sing with me glory 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 to, to the Lamb. Glory, 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 glory to the Lamb. For my God is glorious and worthy to be praised. He's the Lamb, the Lamb, upon, upon the throne. And He will reign in righteousness forever. He's the Lamb, upon the throne. John missing. Awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome is the Lamb. Awesome, 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 awesome is the Lamb. For my God is glorious and He is worthy to be praised he's the lamb the lamb upon upon the throne and he, he will reign in righteousness forever he is the lamb upon the throne Glorious is our God, power, powerful, powerful, and glorious, powerful is my God, yes, my God is glorious, He is worthy to be praised. He is the Lamb, the Lamb, upon, upon the throne. And He and He will reign in righteousness forever. He is the Lamb upon the throne. And God, my God, will reign in righteousness forever. He is the Lamb upon the throne. And my God, my God, will reign in righteousness forever. He is the Lamb upon the throne. The Lamb, the Lamb, upon, upon the throne. He is the Lamb, the Lamb, upon.
one upon the throne. He is the Lamb upon the throne. He is the Lamb upon the throne. Oh, he is the Lamb upon the throne. He is the Lamb upon the throne. Welcome, 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 everybody. Greetings. God bless you. Welcome once again. It's your favorite program. A chapter a day, aka a card for short. And I'm your favorite baby girl, Princess Gleason, Queen of Hearts, and <laughs> and laughter. I would never win this thing. You know, right now I've finally given up. You know, they say never say never. For this one, I'm saying never. I'm just never gonna be able to win myself on it because I can't help you but laugh. It's just not possible for me not to laugh when I say Queen of Hearts and laughter. What do I even expect anyway? Okay, so people, we are on today with another special edition of a chapter a day. I'm sure you all have been praying for me and I'm sure we're going to have a spectacular time here today. I love the word of God. I love talking God. I love speaking the word of God. It's in my bloodline. You get it? I don't know if you, I don't know if you get it, but you have to get it. There's just no way you can get it because I just don't know how not to speak the word. I just don't know how not to talk about God because he's the best thing that ever happened to me. You know, the best of the best. And so on a chapter a day, we get to know who I in Christ, the power we possess, the things we can and cannot do, the things we should and should not do, so that we can live a beautiful Christian life here on earth and end up spending eternity with God in heaven. Heaven in view, that's the whole idea. So hope you all are ready to go to heaven. As for me and my family, we're ready. We were born ready. So on a chapter a day, we pray and hand over the session to God. After doing that, we go to the birthday party where we tell a lot of people who they are to us while they are still alive and we end up praying for every single person who was born on that particular day then we go to the cocos and the cocos of the matter we go to the bible party which we first of all read the chapter we have for that day i read it out clearly which is technically and rightfully creating an audio bible and then when i'm done we now have a conversation around that chapter about what we learned about what God is telling us in that particular scripture you know that's why we go to church like a thousand people and people are ministered to differently trust me if you're in church what the Lord might minister to you might be different from someone actually telling you because to tell you the truth that person when they are preaching to you and telling you the gospel they're telling you in connection to how they were ministered to and maybe they went there with an expectation and a heart full of grudges and god was ministering to them about forgiveness maybe someone went and the person is someone who never ever makes sacrifices and god is ministering to them about sacrifices so if those two persons meet you and preach it would sound like they all went to the different services, but it was the same. God just ministered to them using that same message, but meeting them at their point of need. So most of the times when we go preaching the gospel and all that is basically what God ministered to us based on what we're desiring and that's why it's very important for us to come to fellowship i'm not saying right now that don't, oh, don't preach the gospel because god ministers to people differently or something no that's not what i'm saying don't get me wrong don't quote me wrong anywhere people please all i'm saying is it's important for you to go to service it's important for you not to forsake the assembly of the brethren because the bible says so it's a command it's not a choice thing. It's not something that is not optional. You can decide not to go for fellowship or go for fellowship. It is a command. 
we should not forsake the assembly of the brethren. That's what the Bible says. Because there are lots of lots of kinds of heresies and kinds of messages that are coming out and people keep feeling comfortable with the fact that they don't go to church and be, begin to say all kinds of evil and terrible things about the church. The church doesn't make itself what it is. The people in the church make it what it is. And so if you can make the difference, why not go there and make the difference? Why sit back and complain and murmur and grumble? The solution is with you. Go and make the difference. Go and shine your light. Let people see the good works of the Lord in you and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Okay, people. It looks like I'm already preaching. We're flexible like that, bro. We're really flexible like that. And um, sometimes we get to start saying a lot of things before we get right on, 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 like on and into the message. So let's get to pray and hand over the session to God. And then we get right on to the birthday party. Father, we thank you for this beautiful day you've made. We rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for all you've done, you're doing and you're still to do in our lives. We thank you for provision, protection, guidance. We thank you for every single good thing we can even think, ask or imagine. Because we know you're going to give it to us. Your word is true. Your word is here and amen. It never fails. It always accomplishes the purpose for which it is sent. Let your word become a practical reality in our lives today. And forever in Jesus name we pray amen amen and amen Lord increase while I decrease so it's gonna be you and you alone that will be seen felt and heard throughout this edition of the chapter a day minister to us our expectations shall never be cut short we know when we come to dine and sup with you it's always a balanced diet we say thank you up front in Jesus name we pray amen let's get to the birthday party the first person is man Steffi Cati. I got to know her in the university. She's a very calm and composed person, very friendly and very lovable, but kind of very quiet. <laughs> but sometimes I wonder, she talks, but not like as much as much. And I would say basically, I think everybody has that part of them where if it's something that you're really interested in, something that catches your fancy, you know, that tickles your fancy, you'll be able to have a conversation around it. But if people are talking about something that you don't like and you don't even know anything about, you don't have a clue about, you might seem like a quiet person. You might seem like a quiet person even if you're not. So Mom Steffi Cati is actually a calm and composed lady from the time that I ever knew her till date. We kind of lost contact, but we're still connected again after on social media, which has been beautiful. She also gets to um, um, support me and encourage me once in a while for all the things that I do when we get the opportunity to chat. The next person is Mr. Ojo Mayowa Boss Mick, AKA Boss Mick. Um, Mr. Mayowa, I got to know him on a mutual friends post. Um, I think said Glowville. I'm not sure, but I have this clique of people that I follow on Facebook and I'm sure it was amongst one of them. Either Mam Olubimi Mabel, Mr. Tosin Ayo, Mr. Glowville or Mr. Agbenila, I'm not sure which of them, or Mr. Ozone, Olubukola Ozone. One of these people, I'm sure I got to know him through them. I don't know which one. You know, like I follow all these people with a passionate passion because they, they just spew a whole lot of wisdom in every aspect of life. I'm not just talking spiritual. I'm not just talking physical. I'm not just talking social. They spew a whole lot of wisdom in every single facet of life. So that's where I got to meet Mr. Ojo um, Mayowa. And he's also an amazing person. Like I told you guys, I connect with people based on what I see them posting on social media, how they comment. I'm a comment section association member. <laughs> I, I never reach, um, how they call this again? I never reach top members level. I'm still on normal members, you know. I kind of have a whole lot to gain. And it's uh, Glovi Olumide who actually taught me the comment section, the power of the comment section. So I actually am a comment section person. You get diverse ideas, diverse views of topics, which is a very good thing. So you're, you're, you have a broader perspective on issues as opposed to just your one thought, like the way you see, the way you think it should be. But you have an idea of what some other people think about it and the way it could be. 
you know, like that, which is a very good thing. It's a broad spectrum and it's really a amazing. So Mr. Ojomaiwa was one of those people that was always wowing me with his comments. And later on, when Sir Glovia actually created this online group for um, Glovio Marketing Strategies, something like that. I'm not sure if I can remember the name exactly, but I have it saved so I don't need to master the name like perfectly. I have it saved on my um, platform and I get to just go there and check stuff. So Mr. Bosmik was one of the persons that was running it as well. And Mr. Bosmik also does very great. He does advertising. He does, um, I think, PR. I can't remember everything he does, but I'm sure he can be able to put his link here. If he has one, maybe um, it's going to be his website. Maybe it's going to be his Facebook page or Instagram page, whichever place where he um, makes people know about the things he does. It would be nice for him to put it in the comment section so we all can go get to patronize his goods or services. You just never know. Who in my audience might need your services so don't hesitate to put your link in the comment section if you have anything you're doing maybe a business maybe a service you're rendering or whatever it is just don't forget to put it in the comment section I might need your services too <laughs> welcome Pastor John Lai thank you thank you thank you thank you for coming I always 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 tremendously like ginormously appreciate you for always supporting me always encouraging me always being there i do not take it lightly i do not take it for granted i am forever grateful okay the next person is mr zibam golov mr zibam golov i actually got to meet him in a group of certain smart people that came together think tank positive they came together to put people to bring solutions to some issues, to to bring ideas together that can cause us to grow and all that. That's why I've met Mr. Golov. And how did I meet him? I met him on a spree of wanting to be the person who meets the highest number of people in that group. And I met him when they were doing a skit on, um, what was that about again? Can I really remember? I'm not sure, but he does a lot of skits. He he works with really amazing people. They do videos, they do trainings, they do lots and lots of things, you know. That day he was actually at a training and when he was done, he took us out, had fun. I ate some really delicious meal. I love my country when it comes to food because we have varieties of food and they're just so delicious, so delicious. <laughs> and people keep saying, this girl, is that food you're talking about like that? I love food. There's no jokes about it. No, but God is my number one. No. So it's not food cannot take God's place. Lie, lie to lie, lie. I'll give it up. The only person I can give up food for is God. Shade the other people. The one that enters my tummy is for me. Mr. Zebam Golov, this is me remembering the treat you gave me in Bamenda. <laughs> God bless you. He's a very nice person, very welcoming very smart as well and of course he's very outgoing he's very upfront straightforward person which is something that i really really admire very much thank you so much for being that amazing person that you are the next person is chief mentors i met miss i met chief mentors in ghana he was one of those my nigerian friends that i would never forget in a hurry see a lot of people say things about nigerians that are pretty annoying but Nigerians themselves told me that, yes, there are some people like that that are pretty annoying. But I'm like, well, people should stop. People should try to learn how not to generalize. It's okay. Every country has people who are annoying. Every country has their issues. So it should not be spiraling. We should not just be on this particular people like that, you know. Anyways. Why did I, why was I wanting to say that? I was wanting to say that because like a majority of the people that I've met, a majority of people that I know, a majority of people that I've come in contact with, whether it was first time, whether it was just a one-off, whether it was a continuous thing, like I would say 99% of my Nigerian friends and the meetings I've had with Nigerians and encounters and all has been spectacular. 
So how on earth will I go and stand somewhere and say Nigerians are bad? How? How is that even possible? How would someone, maybe two, three people, deal with you recklessly or deal with you in a bad way? You just generalize an entire country to be bad? One person does a drug deal and you generalize. And it's so sad because in some Asian countries, that's how it works. One black person does something, every, in fact, Africa is in trouble. And sometimes they kind of feel like Africa is a country and then Nigeria, Southern Cameroon, Togo, Libreville, and all those places are towns. Hey, <laughs> God. Someone saw. So, um, so in the province where I am, it's like I'm the only dark person. The rest are actually Asians, different Asians, different countries. But some of them are foreigners, like they're not Thai people, but they're Asians. So I, I remember we went to a shop some time ago and my colleague saw a black guy and she was like, do you know him? <laughs> felt like I could give her a spanking like what on earth I've been here like for, for like for a long time I've not seen any dark person or something and this is the first person we're seeing I for some weird reason just feel I should know him even in this small um, um, city this small province that we are you don't know everybody so why, why would you be <laughs> anyways so I met um, Chief Mentus in Ghana and we had a great time together. I got to know him through one of my key brothers, um, Evans, and we became really good friends. He's now into videography, um, photography, and what else? I'm sure he will put his link in the comment section. You can go follow him and check him out. He does a great job. You want your events covered. You want a memorable, you want to keep something in a memorable way, in a way that you're never going to lose it. You're always going to be able to have it. Cementus is the person you want to connect with. The next person is comrade Mohammed Salim. He's also one person I met on this whole comment section thing and um his comments actually blew my mind and of course i went to his wall to check some of his posts and they're really amazing so i decided okay i'm going to get stuck on here to learn and we became friends and sometimes he encourages me on the things i do thank you so much comrade mohammed salim god bless you the next person, which is the last but not the least, is Mr. Ndinga Minet. Mr. Ndinga Minet is one of the sons of um, Pa Jaguar, <laughs> Uncle Chen Neville. So, um, Dinga Minet was actually there. I got to know him while I was doing my programming on the radio. Um, something to sing about, Christian Gospel Radio. I used to do this program on there, and so they were always listening at their shop their provision store and so when i went there i finally got to meet a lot of amazing people like joy like who else was there mine it and how can i remember only joy and mine it aquaba mr ns Sedu. mr ns say you do <laughs> aquaba had to say hope you're good and hope family is good too Thank you for coming. Please don't forget to share out so that we can get a lot more people come on here and we get to enjoy together. So those are the people. That's how I got to know Mr. Minet and many other people that I got to know at um, Pajagwa's shop. That was when I was working at the Christian Gospel Radio then in my country in Bamenda precisely. I kind of do some stuff online still with the Christian Gospel Radio but not as like often like I used to do. It was a daily thing. I'm hoping that maybe someday we'll start something to sing about again online. I don't know. I'm not sure, but we're going to find out. We're going to try and see what we can do. Okay, people, let's take that again. Happy birthday, Mom Steffi Kati. Happy birthday, Mr. Ojo Mayowa, a.k.a. Boss Mick. And happy birthday to Mr. Zebam Golov. Happy birthday to 
Chief Mentus. Happy birthday to Comrade Mohammed Salim and happy birthday to you, Mr. Ndinga Minet. God bless you all tremendously. So now let's pray for every single person who is born on this beautiful 27th day of September. Are you ready? Ready or not? Here I come. <laughs> okay, so let's pray for everybody. Father, we thank you for adding the new year to the lives of all these amazing people who were born today. We thank you for protecting them, for keeping them safe and secure. We pray, oh God, even as you open those beautiful pages upon their lives, write awesome stories that will cause them to rejoice, sing, and dance till the end. And if you tarry to come, O oh Lord, they'll be here same time next year, testifying of your goodness upon their lives. Father, we just bless you. We just magnify you because we deserve it. We give you all the praise, all the honor and adoration. Take preeminence, but now forevermore, because you're good. You're God. You're in control. There is none like unto thee. You're the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, for your loving kindness. Lord, open the windows of heaven and pour out the choices of your blessings upon their lives. Rebuke every devourer in Jesus' name. Lord, cause them to stand out and not fit in. Open opportunities up for them that will cause them to stand out and not fit in because each and every one of them was called to stand out in their areas of specialty. And we know you are a faithful father. So do for them that which you have to do. Lord, even as they realize and obey and start fulfilling their purpose, Lord, you're going to open their eyes, oh God, that when they get to this place where they feel overwhelmed, they feel like they want to give up or back out, they'll hear a clean, loud, clear voice that would say, this is the way, walk down in it. So they will not miss it, they will not derail, they will not stray the path, they will stay on course. I pray that you cause them to be trailblazers, pace setters, and wall changes in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you're going to empower them to do your will in a very mighty and big way, oh God. Father, that they're not going to miss it. They're not going to get it wrong, oh God. They're going to get it right from start to finish. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you're going to enlighten their eyes so they're going to be able to know those they are supposed to be destiny helpers to. And they'll be great stewards so that they know that all that they are and have is yours. And so when you ask for a release, they'll be able to release it instanta without even hesitating. I pray, oh God, that you're also going to strategically position destiny helpers all around them, oh Lord. And Lord, I'm trusting and believing, oh God, that you're going to do amazing. You're going to do awesome for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Abba Father, because you deserve it. There is no like unto thee, oh God. Amongst the gods who is like thee, you're glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, always doing wonders. Lord, I pray that their light is going to keep shining brighter and brighter unto the perfect day, that you're going to cause them, oh God, to increase in wisdom and stature, gaining favor before God and before men. That they would stand before kings, not before mean men, because their gifts will make a way for them, O oh Lord. Father, I pray that you're going to divinely connect them to people and things that will cause them to progress and not stagnate. And Lord, I pray that you divinely disconnect them from people and things that will cause them to retrogress or stagnate in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to give them all that it takes, O oh God, that there'll be an overflowing in their lives and people come in contact with them will literally rub off of the blessings. And Lord, I pray, O oh God, that this blessing is going to encompass them as a shield round about. So no weapon formed or fashioned against them shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. And every tongue that rises against them, you shall condemn in judgment. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to give them understanding that they'll be able to represent you well in every area that they have to. Lord, let every door be open for them and every door that is of you be open and every door that is not of you be shut in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we know you are a good God. We know you are a faithful God. We know you are an awesome father. Lord, come through for your children today. Speak to their hearts. Speak to their lives, O oh God. Father, perfect all that concerns them and give them a sound 126 state, a state of continuous laughter, singing and rejoicing. And Lord, I pray that you're not only going to teach them how to get to the top, but you teach them how to stay there permanently to the glory of your name. We trust you as the master strategist. We trust you for all the amazing things that you're doing, you're done and you're still to do. Lord, we bless you. We cover every prayer request with the blood of Jesus. 
Father, we pray, O oh God, that you're going to cause money to meet money in their pockets, blessings to meet blessings in their lives, favor to meet favor in their lives, even as you clothe them with a the garment of praise, honor, and favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Take to that control, but now forevermore. For in Jesus' name we pray. And all the saints say, Amen. And I say, Amen. Amen. Let it be so. Amen. In their lives, as we've prayed, let it be so. Amen. 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 In their lives. Amen. As we have prayed. Amen. Let it be in their lives. Let it be so. Amen. 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 In their lives. Amen. Let it be so. Amen. In their lives. As we pray, we seal the prayers. Amen. 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 With the blood of Jesus. Amen. Let it be so. Amen. In their lives. As we pray. May God bless you all tremendously. May He enlarge your coast and fill your bands with all good things things in jesus name we pray amen 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 and amen let's get the bible party started who's ready today's first chronicles chapter 24 and it has 31 verses first chronicles chapter 24 and it has 31 verses let's get a reading Oh my God, forgive me their names. Lots and lots of names. If I don't read the names right, don't get mad at me. I'm not Hebrew or Greek. I am just a simple Ambazoni. So let's get this Bible party started. Are you ready? I was born ready, people. First Chronicles chapter 24. Now these are the divisions of the sons of Aaron, the sons of Aaron, Nadab and Abihu, Eliezer and Ethamar. But Nadab and Abihu died before their father and had no children. Therefore Eliezer and Ethamar executed the priest's office. And David distributed them, both Zadok of the sons of Eliezer and Ahimelech of the sons of Ethamar according to their offices in their services. And there were more chief men found of the sons of Eliezer than of the sons of Ethamar, and those were they divided. Among the sons of Eliezer, there were 16 chief men of the house of their fathers, and eight among the sons of Ethamar, according to the house of their fathers. Those were they divided by lot, one sought with another, for the governors of the sanctuary and the governors of the house of God were of the sons of Eliezer and of the sons of Ethamar. And Shemaiah, the son of Nathanael, the scribe, one of the Levites, wrote them before the king and the princes, and Zadok the priest, and Ahimelech, the son of Abiathar, and before the chief of the fathers of the priests and Levites, one principal household being taken for Eliezer and one taken for Ithamar. Now the first lot came forward to Jehoarib, the second to Jediah, the third to Harim, the fourth to Seorim, the fifth to Malchijar, the sixth to Mijamim, the seventh to Harkogs the eight to Abijah, the nine to Jeshua, the tenth to Shekaniah, the eleventh to Eliashib, the twelfth to Jakim, the thirteenth to Hupar, the fourteenth, the fourteenth to Jeshibed, Bib, the fifteenth to Bilgar, the sixteenth to Imar, the seventeenth to Hezi, the eighteenth to Afsis, the nineteenth to Pethahire, the twentieth to Jehezekiel, the one and twentieth to Jashin, the two and twentieth to Gamul, the three and twentieth to Delahire, the four and twentieth 
to Mazeah, the where these were the orderings of them in their service to come into the house of the Lord, according to their manner, under Aaron their father, as the Lord God of Israel has commanded him. And the rest of the sons of Levi were these, of the sons of Amram, Shubael, of the sons of Shubael, J. Dehair, concerning Rehabiah, of the sons of Rehabiah, the first was Ishair, of the Ezarites, Shelomoth, of the sons of Shelomoth, Jahath, and the sons of Hebron, Jeriah the first, Amariah the second, Jahaziel the third, Jekamim the fourth, of the sons of Uzel, Mekar, of the sons of Mekar, Shamir, the brother of Mekar was Ishair, of the sons of Ishair, Zechariah, the sons of Merari were Mali and Mushi, the sons of Jaziah, Beno, the sons of Merari by Jaziah, by Jaziah, Beno and Shoham, and Zakur and Ibri. Of Mali came Eliezer, who had no sons. Concerning Kish, the son of Kish was Jeramil, the sons also of Mushi, Mali, and Edar, and Jeremoth. These were the sons of the Levites, after the house of their fathers. These likewise cast lots over against their brethren, the sons of Aaron, in the presence of David the king, and Zadok, and Ahimelech, and the chief of the fathers of the priests, and Levites, even the principal fathers, over against their younger brethren. This is the word of the Lord. And all the saints say a big thanks be to God. This is basically some degree of genealogy telling us who was doing which job, who was a part of which place, and all that. Oh, it was a pity that some people died and their parents had to bury them. See, mm, the right thing to happen is for us to be able to bury our parents. It hurt, it pains, but they would definitely reach a good, ripe old age before us. So it's just practical. You know, aside from the spiritual part, it's all very practical. And so they went ahead and they were dividing who was going to do what, who was going to be where, who was going to be doing this assignment or that assignment. So if everybody knew exactly who they were going to where they were going to be, what they were going to do, and all that, this world will be a better place, Sha. Uh. Nobody will be struggling to do what another person is doing. Everybody will be focused, putting all their energies and resources to doing what they were created to do. And that's why it's important to go to the presence of God and call on Him and ask Him. There have been some questions that felt like they were just not, they were just unanswerable. You ask, you say this, you put it this way, you put it the other way. It's just like, the answer of this question can come through. But when God shows up, when God shows up, oh my God, things must be different. Things must be different. Mm. And so they started um, sharing them, casting lots and all. In those days, I don't know why they did a lot of lot casting because... I guess I didn't want conflict of interest or something like that. And sometimes as people pray, different people hear different things. Some people don't even hear nothing from God because they don't even hear anything. They don't even know God in the first place. So, of course, they really can't hear him. Because the Bible says, the sheep know my voice and I know the voices of my sheep. I'm a good shepherd. He is definitely a good shepherd. And so they were sharing out all these assignments and activities to those people. And it got to a point they had to cast lots. Maybe probably because there were too many. Or maybe probably they wanted just a clean and clear and fair thing with people's understanding. Because there were times where God chose Saul and Barnabas. God um, um, chose Saul and Barnabas. And it's been like super, super duper interesting how it was through prayers that they were chosen 
So in our days, what works most is prayers. Yes, some point, some time, you might get to use lots. You might get to cast lots to be able to get the right people. But I beg of you, I pray of you, that you go to God and ask him who he would want for a particular thing, who he would want to be in a particular position, who he would want to do what at a particular time. Do your needful, do your due diligence and ask. Do your due diligence. And so these people, all of them had their places, what they were supposed to be doing and how they were supposed to function. And of course, some people died without having children. So their children were not spoken up. They, 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 they had nothing to be spoken about of apart from their names. And I wanted to say something. I think it was yesterday or the day before that I was very excited that some women's name had to appear in this whole calling that they were calling because for the most part, they always get to call guys, call guys, call guys. Like only the names of boys, 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 boys. But the daughters of Zelophead, we still know them till today. They were spoken about Mary Madeleine, Dorcas, mother in Israel. Like we still have a lot of people and God is going to vindicate all these people. And so they went on and they divided everything totally and completely. And then it was done and almost at it. And then they had a way that they were supposed to and the manner and the technique. They had a way and a technique that they were supposed to um, follow. And they had a, te a certain techniques that they were supposed to follow. They say these were the orderings of them in their service to come into the house of the Lord according to their manner under Aaron their father as the Lord God of Israel had commanded him. God assigns people. He assigns people for diverse reasons. Sometimes just hear the person out. Sometimes just listen keenly and carefully. Some people might just need a listening ear. They don't want no remedy. They don't want no solution. They don't want to talk to nobody. Their mind is cramped. They're just taken aback. They don't want to talk to nobody. But I pray that that will not be your portion in Jesus name. And so they went on sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing. And lots were cast and people were taken for a particular position, for one position or the other. But there's just some positions that even God himself does not allow any kind of, any kind of person to be, to be there. Like God would just not allow it. He made everything pitch perfect. The Bible says in God's time, he makes all all things beautiful all means all excluding not may we be able to get the stamina that is necessary to wait may we be able to get the stamina that is necessary for us to hold on to God's promises till the end may we not lose it in Jesus name Like I told you, some days we have long chapters and long verses. We have long verses, but the message is pretty short. Sometimes we have long chapters, but the message is just short. And then we have very short chapters, and the message is like boom, boom, boom. We're here for almost an hour, 30 minutes, or even two hours going. And it's non stop. May the good Lord help us in Jesus' name so that we know who we are in Christ, the power we possess, and start using it fully to maximize our potential. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you're going to empower us, oh God. <coughs> Excuse. You're going to give us all that it takes to be able to do the things you want us to do and be the person you want us to be. In the mighty name of Jesus, take to that control, oh God, because you deserve it. There is no like you in all the earth. In Jesus' name, Lord, let your will be done in our lives. Let not our will, but yours be done. Take preeminence, put now forevermore, because you deserve all our praise. 
You deserve all the glory. You deserve all the honor. Thank you, Lord. Receive all the glory and adoration forever and ever and ever. Father, come now and take preeminence. Come now and take self control. Speak to your children in a very rough way. Thank you, Lord God. Take preeminence, but now and forevermore. Come now and guide us, lead us, and direct us to the place where we should go. In everything, we'll give thanks because it's your will concerning us in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for hearing and answering us. In Jesus' name, we pray with thanksgiving again. Amen. Amen, amen, and amen. Welcome, Mr. Edu Garrison. You're coming while we're almost ending. They say, um, they say on the pot the sweets. <laughs> but we just got done. We just got done. And let's hold on and hold out. God is never late. God is always on time. If he has promised, he will do it. If he has said he's going to do something, he's going to do something. So don't give up on God's word. Don't give up on God even. He's not going to give up on you. Don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. He's able. Oh, 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 oh he's able. Da, 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 oh, 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 he's able. God is able to do more than what we ask, think, or imagine. And of course, he has shown us here that for his own, he'll go all out and do and undo for us. For in Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. And all the people of God shall say amen. Lord, thank you. I always get to say I love you so, so very much. But God loves you way, way more. Get to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get all the updates. Each time we'll upload a new video or we get to go live. It has been Princess Cleeton, your favorite girl, queen of hearts and laughter. <laughs> and uh, it's been a very special moment. It's been a very special walk with you from 2021 right up to date. I want to say a tremendous and ginormous thank you to Lord, to the Lord God Almighty. Guys, you guys should help me thank the Lord. For keeping me safe and secure. Fighting my sin and losing battles. Lord. Uh -uh. May the good Lord help us in Jesus name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I truly, truly appreciate you all. Don't forget to share us out. Tomorrow is another day. It's going to be 1st Chronicles chapter 25. 1st Chronicles chapter 20. Five. Thank you, Lord God, because I know you've done it already. We'll meet here tomorrow, same time, hoping to enjoy First Chronicles chapter 25. Until tomorrow. Ciao, ciao. Oh, that reminds me. We have our audio Bible on TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube. We're looking forward to Instagram. Trust that eventually we'll get it on Instagram. Ciao, ciao. Mwah. Okay.